Hey guys, this is friends.123 So this is the first tutorial I have ever posted and it's a simple tutorial about something that is required immensely in any video project that you might be making It's a tutorial on removing the shakes from your video No, not by tracking in After Effects or using the warp stabilizer in Adobe Premiere 5.5 It's actually from a free software it reduces the shakes in a video like regardless of what you might be shooting it might be a, just a pan or shooting out of the window of a moving car for this we'll be using a free software called virtual dub and a free plugin called dshaker plugin it belongs to virtual dub both are free so you won't need to put your hands in your pocket <laughs> okay so let's start first Download both the files from the links given in the description of the video. Yeah, I have downloaded both of them, so they are right here in my desktop. And so, after downloading them, extract them, extract both of them, extract files, extract to virtual dub 1.1. Yeah, it's done. Now I'll extract the shaker, extract the shaker. Yeah, it's done. So now we open the dshaker folder. And then copy the file here. We copy it and paste it virtual dub in the plugins folder. It's already here because I had uploaded the file myself. And so you paste it here and then like yeah, just paste it here. After that, you open virtual dub this thing yeah when the first time you open it you might get a message about a welcome note or something so just click start virtual dub and then it will start you will get this thing so now you click file open video file and open the file which you want to like de shake <laughs> yeah so it's here yep this is the file and oh yes it should be avi or mpeg it does not support the mp4 or mov files sorry so you need to just convert them avi works best with virtual dub so i always prefer avi so you open it and then this sometime comes because mine's taken from a phone so it's okay just ignore them okay so now you get two windows the first play button and the second play button so you press the first play button and you can see your video it's just playing and so it has a lot of shakes as you can see so this is second this is a preview window in this window you can see the uh, the video after the effects have been implemented on the video file and this is the before without the effects so now you just go back to the first frame now you click on video filters add D shaker v3 so you click on pass one make sure it's pass one and then keep the settings how they are because it works fine with these settings you don't need to change them you can just try out changing the settings seeing which works best for you but it works very well with the default settings so click ok and then ok again now you click on the second play button not the first one the second one it processes the video then so you click on that and you can see these tiny markers everywhere these are the markers which detect the changes in the position of the pixels in the video and then work accordingly in the opposite direction to stabilize the video you can see that there are a lot of shakes in the video so it's done go back to the first frame now click on video filters again and make sure to uncheck this now uncheck this for the time being now click add again t shaker v3 ok now make sure you are in pass 2 it was in 1 but now you click on pass 2 so in pass 2 go to this section edge compensation and click on adaptive zoom average plus fix zoom and then no borders this is in this in this uh, like setting the video zooms a little bit but doesn't affect much <coughs> and it 
means the borders are very clean and there are no jaggedy lines anyway so use this setting and then you can change the settings this all all of them however you want and you can just see which suits you best so I just change this one and I don't do anything else so now I click on ok and then don't check this again anymore you don't need to check this anymore just keep the second one checked so click ok now when you click the second play button you see that the video has been de-shaked and the shakes have been removed so this is the previous and this is the means the after effect so you can see that there are no shakes in the second video yep that's it so you see that the shakes have been completely removed there was a lot of shakes in this video but now it's completely smooth as you can see so you don't need to install heavy stuff on your computer like after effects or premiere and you don't need to buy the softwares like steady hand or warp stabilizer because they are they are gonna cost you money and if you can do the same thing for free then why too right so now you just click on file save as avi name it whatever you want like avengers or something now click save and the video gets saved in the same frame rate as the input video so you won't notice much of a difference the only thing is that the video zooms a little bit the more shaky your video is the more zooming will occur so now it's done and so that's it I hope you'll enjoy the video as much as I enjoyed making it <sighs> alright then bye